Kate, well, uh, welcome to New Zealand. Thank you. Let's start with Wuthering Heights. How, in fact, did that come about? What, the song? Yeah. Um, well, last year, uh, I wrote the song. Uh, the, it, it was a subject matter that had been going around in my head for a long time. Um, I'd originally seen the end of a TV series in England, and it had really stuck in my head. And uh, I read the book last year, and after reading that, I just had to write... That was the first time last year you read the book? Yes, it was, yeah. And what about this, this vocal sound? I mean, you came on like the Wicked Witch of the West. I mean, is this... Uh, mm. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> no, that, that's Cathy um, in, in Wuthering Heights. That was who I was in that particular song. I don't think it's me. I don't think I'm very like her. Uh, the voice was really just to create a mood... Uh, the whole song is like, Kathy is a spirit at that point. And it seemed the sort of way a spirit would sing, you know, very ethereal. Has it always been a major ambition to, you know, would you call yourself a pop singer? I call myself a, a songwriter who sings, I guess. I think pop, rock, you know, they're all labels, and I prefer to keep away from labels as much as I can. In many ways, you've almost come up with a lot of the new wave people, though, haven't you? Yeah, the same era, which is fantastic. I mean, I really admire them a lot. You can't see yourself being more orientated towards that type of thing? I don't know. Um, I just do what I do, really. I, I really love what they do. What about managers, your thoughts on management? Um, well, that's uh, my management. I have strong thoughts on my management, sure. Uh, it's not really my business about other people's. Um, I guess, in a way, I have generally quite a negative approach towards them. Um, but we've got a situation at the moment. I've, I've got a manager who um, we, we work very closely together. You know, it's a, it's a teamwork situation where I, I'm very much involved. And that's important for me. I like to know what I'm going to do. And I like to have a say in it. I think I mentioned to you before, you know, you strike me as being a sort of, you know, fragile sort of person. I wonder how strong you are um, as far as your own career is concerned. I think the fragility you're talking about is probably in my physical appearance, and I think physical and, and mental attitudes are two very different things. I mean, a lot of little people, if you like, have been very strong, like uh, Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> are there anything, any things about the business that you, you perhaps are a wee bit afraid of? Afraid of? Yeah, I guess so. I think... There are things everywhere that I'm afraid of. I think it's things in life I'm more afraid of than my work. Uh, there are things I get nervous about, sure. What about the, the music business there? What, what aspects of the music business, you know, might give you a wee bit of concern? Record companies, when I make a, an album, I think about the music. Do you ever find that they're, they're keen to push a certain image onto you? Um, I think... Sometimes they try. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the record company's role is to, to sell the records. That's their purpose, and they try to do it as best as they can, as they should. Um, and maybe if the artist they have isn't strong, then they'll, they'll try and give them some kind of strength. But with, with me, I think they've left me alone and let me do what I want, which is fantastic. I, I really thank them for that. In many ways, it's marvellous to have, you know, a big hit but you had one pretty early on in your career, and that can also be a bit of a millstone, can't it, you know, coming up with a follow-up to Wuthering Heights. Does that concern you? Um, well, it concerned me because people kept telling me this, and I hadn't really, hadn't really conceived it in that way. I was just so thrilled that my first single should get so much um, talk and, and love from people. I mean, that's amazing. Um, and for me, bringing out the second one... I just hoped I'd, I'd get maybe a little of that again. I don't really think of it in terms of um, millstones, you know? I mean, it's music, not millstones. But for lots of people, Kate Bush is Wuthering Heights. Yeah. Um, for lots of people, I guess, Frank Sinatra is, I don't know, I left my heart in San Francisco, or I did it my way, you know? Uh, I think that's, that's something that has to be expected. If, if someone loves something very much, they will always associate that thing with the person. I mean, I do it myself with other artists. I think it's very natural. I think, hopefully, maybe one day I'll be able to break away 
from that, maybe with another song, and then they'll keep remembering me for that one. But that, it's lovely that I should be remembered. Do you see the business as a, as a long-term career? I see music as a long-term career, yeah. I think the business... What about your career then? My career? Yeah, you particularly. My career? Oh, I, I really hope to do that until I die. It's what I'm here for, to work and explore. You prefer it to psychiatry? <laughs> I don't know, I've never done it. And it's something I, I was interested to do at one point. I think, uh, in a way, writing songs is a, a mild form of psychiatry. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow down in Wellington. Thank you. Well, what they what they used to do was um, it was the thing they used to love doing, you know, playing music, and they used to go around the folk clubs locally. That's right. Yeah. Where is that? Well, it depends on what scale you work for. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, the new album, uh, which I see is going to be released in the same. Like, well, I mean, yeah. it's quite a unique situation in Belgium, because like it was. Like, Goodness towards these things, the more you do become exposed. I felt yeah. very sure of myself from that first album about the choice. Yeah. Um, and this time around, I really found myself wondering maybe that one thing because that's the people that hear me. Otherwise, you'll give them a really false impression and they'll go, No, great, and they'll listen to it. Yeah. And it won't be what they thought. Hammer Horror, were you a Hammer Horror movie? Yeah, it's horny. Yeah, it's horny. The way things are it's very exaggerated. I think that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they were right. I think any of my. And I, I guess it could also be a bit shattering if you knew one of those people and they didn't really like what you did. Yeah, but I, I don't think that's important. No. I mean, the reason you meet them, yeah? yeah. Joni Mitchell, yeah. She's, she's beautiful.